It's an honor again to stand here in front of you to share the word of God, especially that we are celebrating the graduation and the success of these students. Amen? Amen. But before that, uh, can we all rise up and let's pray before we start? Hallelujah, Father God. Lord, we thank you for today, Father God. Thank you for everything, Father God. Thank you for the good weather today, Father God. Lord, thank you for your words that we will take today, Father God. Lord, you said that your word is the love of our feet, Father God. Lord, me, your words today, Father God, will become the light to every one of us, Father. And me, this Father God, will penetrate to each and every one, to us, not only, Father God, that we hear it, but Lord, we will apply it, Father God. And Lord, uh, guide me and anoint my lips, Father God, that every word that will come out from my mouth is according to your will and purpose. Use me, my dear Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Ko alam ko yung nervous ko sa gutom or Hallelujah. Sa gutom, sa buyat or walang tulog. Na excited lang. Amen, amen. Before we start, uh, let me show you some pictures there. We have a pictures there. Oh, can you <laughs> tell me what it, what are this? What are those in the picture there? Side mirror and what? Car. It's a windshield. Okay. <laughs> yeah, car windshield. Okay. If you notice that one, who among you here how? know how to drive. Amen? Wow, it's Pastor and raising your hands. Wow. Pastor and I know, we pray that you have a car. <laughs> and he okay, amen? Amen. So when you are driving, how long you look or glance at the rear view mirror? And what happens if you glance too much, if you keep looking in the rear view mirror, Instead of the windshield. Amen? Amen. Of course, if you keep on glancing, you uh, spend too much time glancing in the rear view mirror, of course, you will get an accident. Amen? So why I show that picture? Because today in my message is about moving forward. And the title... <laughs> Yes, Kuya Bong. Thank you. And the title of our uh, message today is To Move Forward, Stop Looking Behind. Amen. Amen po ba? Amen. So our text, our scripture is found in Job 11, verse 13, 15, and 16. I'm reading it in a GMT version. Uh, Say, sir, put your heart right job. Reach out to God. And then in verse 15 is, then face the world again, firm and what? Carry choose. Then all your troubles will fade from your memory like floods that are past and remembered no more. So that in this verse, this is so far talking to or encouraging to Job. So far is Job, one of his three friends. If you remember the story of Job, he has three friends, right? And one of his friends is Zophar. So we all know, we know, most of us know about the story of Job, how he struggles and how he survived. So that he has a painful past. Who knows about job story here? I'm sure almost <laughs> of us, yeah. No, see. And though his friends, you know, though his friends is weren't always there for him, but they have a 
great wisdom. They have a good wisdom to encourage job. Ganun po ba? So, I encourage if you want to those who don't know more about job story, you can read the book of job. You can find it in Old Testament. Okay? Because our focus today is not about the life of job. Our focus is we're using the life of job to move forward. Amen? Amen. So, let's go back to the picture in the windshield and the rear view mirror. Can you see there? <laughs> because so, do you know why windshield is bigger than the rear view mirror? Why windshield is made bigger than the rear view mirror? It's because we need to look more ahead, more in the future. Amen? We need to focus more in our future, comparing. And the rear view mirror is, uh, represents our past. Amen? That's why the rear view mirror sorry, is made too small and it, it uh, put side by side of the car. Amen? So, and because God wants to tell us that we have a great life. One of you here, you have a great life waiting ahead for you. So how can you reach that? How can you know that you have a great life waiting ahead for you there if you keep looking back? Amen po ba? Amen. kayo sa likod nyo. So because what is behind you is your past. That past is for us to glance not all the time, not too long, because the past is only for us to learn. It's a lesson learned for us. Amen? Where you are right now. You know what? I prepared this message. I tried so many times. This is, the, I think, the third time I choose my message today. <laughs> yeah. Because, and then I thank God that because Today is a graduation, so I think it can help them to motivate them as well. Amen, Puba. So today, for us to understand how to move forward, I will give you three points to encourage you to keep moving forward. Amen. So number one, we have first is forget your what ifs. Ikasi, ikasi, ikasi. Yung kasi yun, siya kasi yun kasi. Alam mo kasi, oh. <laughs> Mga Pinay, Filipinos and Pinays is always like that. Amen? <laughs> and then, so God said, forget your what ifs and stop doubting to God. Why? Because you cannot reach your goals. You cannot reach your dreams. You cannot focus on your future if you keep entertaining your what ifs. So, I remember, if the students here remember, one of, uh, each one of them, I asked what is their favorite verse in life and most of them answered I, Jeremiah 29, 11. So, can we read Jeremiah 29, 11 all together? For I know the plans declares the Lord. Plans to what? And not to harm you. Plans, hope, and a good future. Amen. See? In Jeremiah, God said, I have a good plan. A perfect plan. Then why did you keep entertaining? Why are you keep entertaining your what ifs? And your doubts in life. You have doubts. Here, we encourage you. I no, I can't make that. Oh, you can do. No. The person who are encouraging you is believe in you that you can do it. But you have so many what's if and doubts in your life. And so, no, I cannot do that. I cannot do it because I cannot make that. I'm not capable of doing that. Amen. You haven't tried it first, but you already uh yung inano yung conclude you give conclude already to yourself that you cannot do it without trying it 
Amen. So God said to move forward, forget for what if. Amen. Hallelujah. And then see that is why the windshield is bigger than the rear mirror because you have to focus, the move forward, and you keep on looking the rear view. You keep on glancing there. You will find troubles because you know what you miss so many opportunity that is in front of you amen amen so today i love using my students today <laughs> for this because i want to encourage everyone to please continue amen that what ifs is will not help you to grow amen see remember i asked your dreams and your goals what are your dreams and your goals i'm I'm so blessed with the answers of everyone that some of you want to stand here in front also to preach the word of God. Amen? Can we clap <laughs> to our students? See? But then, how can you reach that dreams? How can you stand here if you keep entertaining your what-ifs and doubts? If right now you dream that, but you have doubt, oh, what if I cannot make it? What if people will love me? Amen? No, no one will love us you. Amen po ba? And you know what? Entertaining your what ifs and doubt, it will help you entertain also Satan to come into your life and to your mind. Why? You know, you invite him. Because Satan, his job is to distract us. Especially you keep moving, you're going straight to walk with God and then Satan is always there. The devil is always there. No, no, no. Come here. Come here. Let's go to one child. Let's go to central first. Okay, you can go to church later. Okay? See? Because you have what is. Because you uh, give way the devil if you keep on turning. Because what if is not for God? When God said it is, that is already. Amen? I remember Pastor Tracer said, in God there, are, there is no plan B. God is always have plan A. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And then, let's see in Hebrews also 13, 5. God has said that never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. See, why are you afraid to, keep, uh, to take the rest and pursuing your dreams? Example, you want to preach. You want to stand here to lead the praise and worship. You want to go evangelize. You want to be a prophet. Pro, you want to prophesy, prophesy some, someday. Then how can you do that? How can you reach that if you keep entertaining your what if? God said, whether we fail or not, you may fail, but it's a part of our life that we fail. But God said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Yeah, it's okay. Maybe some people will laugh at you, but God will not. The most important here is your relationship to God. Um, the way you walk. How to walk to have a good relationship to God. Amen? And another one is in Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. So forget your what ifs and trust the Lord. With what? With all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Amen? So the Bible, it's so clear for encouraging us. Amen? So instead of why your what ifs and doubt, why don't you pray? Amen. Let's turn our what if or doubt into prayer. Lord, I can make it. I can make it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Am I too fast? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and then the second one is we have there anchor your life in your future. Have you seen? When you say anchor, have you seen the ship is that anchor like that? So that the ship cannot move, right? Amen. So anchor means put steady 
and constant, and then you put your hope and faith in your future. Why? Because anchor your life in your future. Don't anchor your life in your past. Because remember, the rear view mirror again and the windshield. Amen? You cannot reach. You cannot see what's God's plans for you. The perfect plans and good plans that God has prepared for you if you keep looking back your past. Your past is past. Amen? It's a lesson for us. Yes, we glance not too long. Amen? We can glance it, but not focus on your past. Amen? Focus on what's in front of you. Don't focus on your past. Because the moment you focus your past, you give access again to the devil. Amen? That is the time when you keep locking your past. That is the time when the yung We have the term in the phone, lulugmukin kanya lalo. Amen? I don't know the term in that in English. Sorry, sorry Kuya Bong. <laughs> Amen. And that is the job again. Amen. So remember this, that your past does not define you. Always remember that. It's not your past. Amen. Let define, let you to define your past and not your past. Amen. So do not give your past a power to define your future. Because that is a past. You have, you may have a, a bad past, so give it. Just uh, learn it as a lesson. That, uh, it will help you to motivate, to move forward. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Because it's not your past that will message or define your life. It, but it's how you define your life. Always remember that. Amen. Amen. So, uh, I'm trying to find some example, but I will. I, I found it. I'm example myself. Because I'm not here today. If I'm looking, I'm not. I cannot tell you everything about my past because it's not so good and I don't want to brag at that because my past is, some of you here remember, but if I keep looking back my past, keep looking back behind, I'm not here today, standing in front of you. I'm not your teacher. I'm not there every <laughs> Sunday to teach you because I cannot make it because I'm always looking back my past. But thanks God. He allow me. He encouraged me to stop looking behind. Focus on your future. You have dreams. I remember the first time I preached here is, Pastor said, you can preach. No, I cannot. Because I have one what if. What if I cannot make it? What if I get uh, uh, I'm too nervous for that? And then what if I say uh, the, what the Bible tells, says, I mean the right word. That's what I'm scared of because I have some what ifs and doubts that I cannot make it. Amen. So praise God. I am here today. And I believe that one of you next month will stand here also. Amen. Amen. Let's give that clap for that. Amen. And then because God believed that God can turn all things in good. Amen. It says in. Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things, in all things, God's work for the good. Of those who are, who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. You see, the Jeremiah 29, 11, everyone's favorite. Even me, that's my, even I, that is my favorite Bible verse. Because I believe that God is preparing I have a good future in God. Amen? Amen. So, it's time for us to, what? to cooperate with God. If you want to move forward and not uh, entertain your what-ifs, 
anchor your life into the future and focus on God's purpose in your life. And then you will ask, how would I know God's purpose? It's for you because God will show you. Amen? So stop. Stop looking behind. Anchor your life. Focus to your future. Amen? Don't always, because you keep glancing on the mirror, looking in the rear mirror, you will have an accident because you don't know there's a car in front of you. Amen? And then you go in the wrong lane because you keep looking in your mirror instead of twin child. Amen? Amen. Praise God. And then because the devil, the words of devil is what? I hear this so many times in Father's Razor in John 10, 10. This is the work of the devil. The thief will come to what? To steal kill and destroy but god what the bible says god says he said i have come that they may have life and have it to the full amen amen po ba parang nakikita ko po siya ng serious amen so always choose to follow and obey god because he will turn our past into good. Because if you believe that God, who among you believe that God will turn our past into good? Amen. Amen. So do it. Amen. Amen. Anchor your life into your, in your future. Amen. Apostles Paul also encouraged us in Philippians to press on and forget what is behind. It is in Philippians 3 verse 13, 14. Forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead. I press on towards the goal to win the prize which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Amen. God, every one of you, every one of us, God has a purpose. So please on, keep moving forward. Amen. And stop looking behind. Focus on what's next. And that next is your future. Focus your future. Don't focus your past. Nastumble ka lang palagi if you always focus in your past. Because your past, you then you say, oh no, I can't make it. I cannot stand. I cannot, you say, oh, you do the exhortation to them. No, I am, my past is not so good to stand to share the word of God. That's a devil word. Because you are, you have that guilt. But God said, I can turn your past into good. Amen? You say, no. I did so many, I've been to addiction so much. I've been, I killed someone. I am an adulterer. No, focus on God's purpose. It's not God. That God will not, yung tawag dito, hindi ka kamuhian ni God sa ginawa mo. Because He will turn your past into good. God will accept you no matter who you are, no matter what did you did in the past. Amen? Amen. So, Anchor your life in the future. Amen? Amen. And the third one is, and this is the last one, and this is the most important one is, let's read it together. Put God first. See, the most important point. Why? Because you cannot forget your, your what ifs. And doubts in love, and you cannot move forward to anchor your life in your future if you don't have God, if you don't put God first in your life, if God is not the first of your life. Because you can follow with God is not there, so no one will guide you. Amen? Amen. And you set aside God. Instead, you focus God, you set aside Him. So today, so I encourage you to put God first. So every one of us here, we reach this one, every leader here, that's why we are, become a leader because God has a purpose of God and we make God our first. Yeah, we have some troubles, we find some troubles, but it's okay, we have God. God, we do mistakes. God said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen? So, uh, let's go back to the, our scripture in Job 11:13. 13. 
it says there, put your heart right job. Reach out to God. Can you change your name into Job's name and then say, put your heart and say your name. Put your heart right, Janeline, your name. Reach out to God. If you want to move forward, reach out to God and put Him as first of your life. Amen. Put God, make God as your first love, not your husbands or wives. Amen. Not your family. It must be God at our first love. Amen. Reach out to God. How we can reach out to God? By asking for His help. Where you hear, this is most of us, where you hurt the most, bring it to Him. This is what I'm saying to you. Where do you need for direction? Ask Him for wisdom. God, that's why I told you, if you, instead of what ifs and doubt, pray. Pray, Lord, help me. I don't know what to do. Help me. Because there, nothing is impossible to God. And prayer works. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Amen. And then stop. If you were hurt, if you someone, you heard someone talking behind your back, forgive them right away. Amen? Amen. So that you can move forward. Because you cannot move forward if you're thinking, if you thank them to down, their downfall and to revenge them, you will not be here. You are delaying your healing. Amen. Who believe you that? Amen. Amen. Because here, your heart is full of anger. Amen. So, that's why the Bible says, if someone hurt you, forgive them. Not later, not tomorrow, but right away. Amen. Amen. And to get a right heart to God, you need to confess and repent your sin. And this is the most important. Because you cannot move forward if you didn't repent your sin. If you will not ask forgiveness your sin. Because yung guilt mo, yung kakain sa'yo. Amen po ba? Amen? Amen. And live in humility. Admit that you have done wrong. Ask for grace and commit your life to live according to God's will. And we know all what's God's will for us. Amen. Amen. As a Christian, as a believers, we'll do that. Students, paulit-ulit natin. We keep on repeating this in our lessons. Amen. Amen. So it's time for you to apply. Because in Proverbs 3, 6, again says, In everything you do, put God first. And what? He will direct you and crown your efforts with success. Amen? So keep sticking to God and make Him your first in your life. People and the world may turn their back to you, but God said again, He will never leave us nor forsake us. He is always there for us. It's only for us if we run to Him or we run to people or in the world. Amen? Because you may not find some help in others, but God will help you. And that is for sure. Amen po ba? Amen. So, and am I going to pass because I am now in my conclusion? Amen? <laughs> Amen. So, always remember this. For my conclusion is that let's make this as our daily reminders that your past is not your future. Keep reminding that. Amen? Get right to with God and build your confidence to Him. Always put God first in your life. Amen? And every one of us know what I'm saying in here. We only have one day and that is Sunday. Amen? So please make it 
that you go first in the house of God. You know what? Because everything you need, God will take care of it. Amen. How many you believe that? Amen. So next Sunday, I will see your face here in the morning. Amen. We have a prayer also at 8 in the morning. That is every Sunday. Amen. So keep moving forward. Always be grateful to God for everything. Give thanks to God in advance. Amen? Whether No, why should I give thanks to in advance? Okay, God, because God prepared you so many things. Amen? So move forward for you to find that. Amen? Amen. And this is my message. I'm, I'm going to talk to my uh, students as well that to my interest, graduates today because keep on. This is my encouragement to all of you. And not only for the graduates, but all of us in here, in this room, that keep on desiring your dreams and goals to God. Keep striving until you make it. Remember that you have your goals and I have it in my phone and I will write it down <laughs> and I will keep it. So we will pray that together. Your dreams and your goals. Amen. So make, keep moving and make a progress. Because I, lo I love uh, reading and watching uh, Denzel Washington videos and motivational. And I know that you, I sent it to you also, guys. That's one of his speeches. Speeches, uh, he says that, that, he says it, that don't confuse movement with progress. So what does it mean? Why did you, don't confuse pro, uh, movement with progress. You know why? Because movement, here, right there, you're sitting, but you can move, right? You can move, you can run without getting anywhere. That is movement. You, you move, that is movement. But progress is that you move forward. You stand up and go. You have a progress. Means you move one step. And that is progress. Because if you just say, sometimes all of us is like you that, oh, I do a lot of things. I have so many ministry in the church. Why I'm still like this? Why I cannot uh, move forward? See, maybe you know a lot, but you don't put it into action. That's why you don't have a progress until now. Amen? So my encourage is that for you that you need to, first is to move forward, stop looking behind, and forget your past and what ifs and doubts. And then the second one is anchor your life in your future. And the most important thing is that put God first. Amen? So once again, congratulations, graduates, and to God be all the glory. <laughs>